What's your first name? What's your name? What is your name and date of birth, sir? I said I want to talk to you if he's going to stand right there. Well, he is going to stand right there, sir. Are we trying to cause a confrontation? No way. No way. So what could I do with my little cameras to hurt them? Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Today's story comes from Nightcrawler Media. Be sure to head over to his channel and let him know I sent you. Nightcrawler was out filming the National Guard Armory in Crestwood, Illinois, taking pictures of the military vehicles and historic monuments placed on the property for public display. Prior to his arrival, he checked the GIS survey to ensure he remained on public property. Check the GIS survey. All the sidewalks are on the public easement except for the one on the east side of the building over there. So we'll stay off of it just so we don't have any issues. A few moments in, he is approached by Sergeant First Class Leonard Hines. Hold on. What's that? I just wanted to. I got reasons. Why not? It's 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 a interesting building. You know, it's a, it's an important. Uh, Thing. You know, you so. a documentary or was it, or was it just for nothing? I, I really can't answer those kinds of questions. Nothing answer. bad, nothing bad. Don't worry about anything bad. You know. I, I get that, but you're not telling me the reason. That's what I'm saying. For physical yeah. security, obviously, I see the hat that you wear. So you must be prior military person. No, no, no. My grandfather, but no, no. Okay, your grandfather, so you understand why it looks suspicious why you're filming our army. So that's why I was just wondering. My army. Huh? My army. No, no, I said uh, our, armory. Armory, yeah. Armory. Yeah. That's what I said. Armory, not yeah. armory. Um, I don't think it should look suspicious. I mean. You don't think so at all? No. And for me to ask, like, I, I just asked why you said, well, just because I am? Yeah. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm, not, I'm out in public. This is... You know, totally understand. This is what you guys fight for, right? I'm not, and I, I just totally understand. I yeah. was just wondering why. That's all. No, there's, you know, you got the cool tanks and all that stuff. And I'm going to take pictures of all that. I'm going to stay out in public. I'm not going to go in the fence or anything. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, yeah. No, just... Listen, uh, listen, brother, I don't know you and you don't know me. This <laughs> isn't one... I'm not a police officer. I'm just simply asking because I work here, other people work here. I have no idea what your intentions are. So oh, I yeah. just wanted to simply know what your intentions were. In case I need to watch you. <laughs> well, if, if I had bad intentions, I I probably wouldn't tell you. Of course. Or not. I'd, I'd lie, you know. Of, of course you <laughs> would. Or you would be so, very passive in your answers. Yeah. Like you are now. Or. I'm just saying, I don't. If you, you know. want to just take pictures of the harmony, yeah. then why not just say that? As a I, I just want to take I pictures. I don't have a really reason. Yeah, nothing bad. No, nothing. No, no bad reasons. All good. It's all good. Okay, brother. So. All right. I just wanted. I just wanted to make sure we go on the up yeah. and up. That's all. I don't know you. You don't know me. Yeah. I have a duty to make sure that we're safe. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's See something. Say something. I don't mind asking. That's, that's fine. That. Okay. Yeah. All right, brother. Have a good one. You too. He continued on to take photos of the vehicles in the motor pool when he was approached by a second soldier, as Sergeant Hines called the Crestwood Police Department. Crestwood Police, can I help you? Hey, how you doing, ma'am? Um, this is a uh, Sergeant First Class Hines with the uh, Illinois Army National Guard mm -hmm. in Crestwood. Mm -hmm. And I was calling because we have like a suspicious dude who's out here filming the armory. Uh, it's not really that big of an emergency, which is the reason why I called this number. But uh, I did approach him and ask him what, was, what, what exactly he was doing. He was being really, really evasive, sort of weird. You know what I mean? Uh, so we sort of just locked everything down. Okay. And I was wondering if uh, at some point in time if you could send somebody here. Yeah, we can send so somebody. What's the address? It's 13838 South Springfield Avenue. Okay. Is he white, black, Hispanic, Arab? Um, He's a white male, probably about six feet. He's walking around with an umbrella along with a camera, like on a, like a camera holder. Like a tripod uh, or...? Uh, not a tripod, but it's it's like almost like a um I don't know what to describe it. It's like his phone is connected to like a selfie stick. Sort of sort of sort of something like that, correct. 
Okay. Yep. You know what he's wearing at all? Uh, he has on a. Uh, it looks like a veteran's cap. It's like a subdued flag, and it's sort of like a bluish, blackish color. Okay. Hat. He's wearing like blue jeans along with like brown boots, and he's, he has a huge umbrella. I think it might have been a Callahan umbrella. Okay. And your name again? Uh, Sergeant First Class Leonard Hines, H I N E S. And the phone number there? Uh, you can call me on my cell. It's six. Uh huh. Okay. Zero seven. Okay, we'll send the police over there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. A little while later, Officer Mace Jack and Sergeant Olson of the Crestwood Police Department arrive on scene. Buddy, you're kind of blocking the road. How's it going, sir? I'm going fine. Do you have your ID on you? No. You got yours? I do. Can you tell me your name and badge number? Uh, it's right here on my vest. And... What's your name, sir? Oh, there's two of you. Yes, what's your name, sir? What's your first name? What's your name? -E what is your name and date of birth, sir? I'm sorry, I'm not going to give that information at this time. So you're failing to identify yourself? You realize well, I, that's obstructing your identification? No, it's not. Yes, it is, sir. What's going on? This guy comes up, he's blocking the road. Yes, sir. And he's saying, I need your name. I need your name. He said, that's obstruction. Sir, I'm Sergeant Olson. Can you speak to me? Yeah. You so what's going on today, sir? All right. For the record, can I have your name and badge number? Sergeant Olson, star 241 at the press room. Can I have 10 feet? Sir, he does not have to stand up. He can stand where he likes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Now, you're not... We're, if you don't want... Would you like to speak with us today? I, I can talk to you a little bit, but I don't want him behind me. Sir, well, then you understand? for my safety and my partner's safety, sir. No, it's sir. not. Yes, it is. Well, for my safety, I want you both in my field of well, view. sir, if you want to speak with us, you can speak with us. If you don't, if you don't. All right. That's your, your Then choice. I guess I don't want to talk to you if you he's going to stand right there. Well, he is going to stand right there, sir. I don't know you, you don't know me. All right, so did I get your name, badge number 241, yes, Olson? Would you like it again? So no, that's good, thank you, but okay. he didn't say his. Huh? He didn't give me his. Can you Officer Maciak, Presswood Police, Star 210. All right, thank you very much. Thank All right, you. sir, would you like to speak to me? Or are, we, is this, are we trying to cause a confrontation? Uh, no or? way, no way. Okay, well, I see you have an American flag hat on, correct? Yeah. Okay, so can I ask you what's going on today? We're just trying to get to the bottom of what's happening. Well, I got three cameras, so I'll give you three, three guesses. I'm not going to play this guessing game, sir. I'm not. Right now, I'm I just... have way too much to do. Okay. And I'm way too busy to sit here and argue and go back and forth and do and play a guessing All right, game. I'll make it short and simple, Sar Sergeant. All I'm doing is recording and taking video, pictures. That's it. They got tanks out here. You can see all this from the highway. Okay. You know? Okay. I never went on their property. I made sure I stayed off. I was on the road. I was on the sidewalk. I'm just recording. That's okay, it. That's we, we got called here. We have a job to do. So we came out. We came to speak to you. Obviously, you're recording whatever you're recording, the tanks. Yeah. Right? You may have people on edge considering that this is a government building here. From what we were told, they were building people coming okay. in and out. Well, just so you're aware. That's all that it comes down to. All right. To. Let me address like, that. On, First sir. of all. Number one, they came out. One guy came out. He okay. said, did you go and get permission? I said, no, I'm not going on the property, so I can't go in there and get permission. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he was very nice. He never said, hey, I'm calling the cops or anything like that. We had a nice conversation. Okay. And he went back inside. Okay. So I don't know what the big deal is. And second of all, look at this place. It's like Fort Knox. They got tanks. They got a, 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 a big cannon over there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they got tons of guns in there. So what could I do with my little cameras? to hurt them. Sir, I'm not sure exactly where you're going with it or not going with it. All I'm telling you is we got called here. They obviously were disturbed that you were out here videoing Army and National Guard walking into the building in uniform. You do have an American flag hat on and almost a military style hat on. 
So well, they were just wondering. They were just. It's almost camel, so that maybe that's what fishing, I was playing. Fishing hat. Okay. Well, it's is it like it's mine, like, like a baseball cap? Like, or? Yeah, it's a baseball oh. cap. It's got like a. Okay, so a I'm fish not, scales I'm on not it. here to it's, argue with I you. I love this hat. I see that you're a little argumentative, and you that's that's the way you want to be. That's fine. This guy. It's, he came rolling up and demanded my ID. For identification, sir. That's it. No, you didn't ask. I have it on video. You didn't ask me. You All demanded. Right, sir. sir, have a nice day. Thank you. Stay. I hope you realize the area that right now where you're in and stuff I know like that. I would just be careful. I know. Okay. I know. All right. Standing out here videotaping, especially videotaping cars and stuff going by, may not be the safest choice. Okay. All right. So, sir, have a great day. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. You guys have a good day and be safe. The interaction you just witnessed should infuriate you. The idea that soldiers, the very men and women charged with protecting our rights, would call the cops because of a camera is the most backwards moment in the history of audits. The oath states, I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. The ignorance is remarkable, and the aggressive approach of these officers is a disservice to the people they serve. The immediate escalation is a pathetic way to treat a member of the public. Luckily, the sergeant knew enough to walk away, and would have turned out great if the story ended here. Sorry, sir. Are you still recording? What's that? I just wanted to advise you, though. At this point forward, we are told by, we've already confirmed with them, that if you step foot on their property at all in any way, so this property or that property, right. they will have you arrested for trespass. Okay. okay. I just want to let you, so we're all on the same page. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so have a good day, for, sir. Just for today or any day? They do not want you back there on this property at all. So I can never sign up? Yeah, they don't. That's as far as sign up with a recruiter, wherever. They don't want you on this property or that property. I think I'm too old anyway, but okay. I'm too old. I, uh, all right. Well, all right thanks so for, I'm just telling you, so I don't want to see anybody get jammed up. God bless, sir. Cool. Have a blessed day. Thank you. It's not cool. When it comes to trespass to real property, one of the ways to commit a trespass is by entering property where you've received prior notice that entry is forbidden. A person is considered to have received notice from the owner if he or she has been notified personally, either in writing or orally, or if a printed or written notice forbidding entry has been posted at the main entrance to the land or the forbidden part. In the 911 call, Sergeant Hines never asked that Nightcrawler be removed, but Sergeant Olson still took it upon himself to verbally warn him not to enter the property, possibly a solicitation of a trespass. Nightcrawler has now been warned that he cannot enter, even though he was initially invited inside to ask for permission to film, but because he never intended on entering the property and doesn't need permission to film from a public right of way, he politely declined, which prompted the initial call to the police. Nightcrawler sticks around to continue to record only deciding to leave once it began raining. The officers followed him for a short period of time, presumably to locate his vehicle and identify him, but were unsuccessful. He received a privacy complaint on his video and this email. Nightcrawler went on to request the 911 call, body cam, dash cam footage, and all written reports from the incident. The event report described him as uncooperative and hostile. A few months later, Nightcrawler returned to the armory and called to inquire about his trespass, but was unable to speak with anybody about it. And they called the police again. They've learned to close the garage door. <laughs> hey, look who's here. My buddies from Crestwood. Luckily, this time the officers did not make contact. It's been two years since the original video, and Nightcrawler has yet to hear back from the department or armory concerning his trespass warning. He has filed formal complaints as well but has received no response. Nightcrawler has a ton of videos. Please head over to his channel and let him know I sent you. Thank you for watching. If you have an interaction you'd like me to review, email it, submit it on my website, or through Facebook Messenger. All links are down below. That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel. If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.